Okay. You ready? Yeah. So we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. So we got the bass fishing show. Now tell me about the show. Tell, the show. The show. It's, where do y'all fish? Well, we fish everywhere. You know, basically what we do is we go around and, you know, we fish out of Venice, Louisiana. We've done three shows out of Venice. We fish all the lakes in Alabama. So we've done a lot. We go all over the place. Did y'all fish in Bayou St. John? Because that's where I used to fish when I was a kid. I have not fished They wouldn't there. give me a rod and reel. They gave me a cane pole and a string. That's all they would give me. What'd you catch? I caught some perch. It was nice. Okay. We'd bring them back here. Daddy would clean them. Oh. I would cook them. Oh. Right on Bayou St. John. How about that? And my friend Casanova, when he comes, we used to ride out to the lakefront, same cane pole, on the bike, and fish right out there. Now, we didn't catch any bass. We caught croakers out there. All croakers. And Uncle Frank would cook them here, would cook them right here in the kitchen, and eat them right at the bar. Well, heck, that sounds good to me. Maybe we, maybe we can go do that. You can, right on Bayou St. John. <laughs> I'm here with Tommy Mandina here at Mandina's Restaurant. Canal Street in New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, one thing that we wanted to do is kind of share the local flavor of, of New Orleans. And this is not uh, one of these chain restaurants. This is the where you want to go place when you want to eat and have great cuisine. Of course, New Orleans is known for a lot of things, and one of them is known, uh, obviously, is their food. And, and, food, and Tommy, I'm going to tell you something. And I can't mention the other thing. Well, we know. Yeah, why don't we just keep yeah, that to ourselves? Because you're all going back to well, the you gotta, Alabama. Well, right? you've got to leave some things to the imagination of the people out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And we love our friends in Alabama. That's exactly We're right. Come over here and enjoy our great city. Yeah, they, want us, they want us to, we want to be able to cross the border and go back home. So. Exactly. <laughs> but, <So do> I. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tommy, I, let's talk about this place. I mean, I've been here several times before, and uh, I know there's a lot of places to choose down here, but uh, this is a favorite of the locals here in New Orleans, and I know this place is, is very special. It's right here on famous Canal Street. Talk about the house, how long it's been here. Well, my grandfather started this restaurant, uh, started in a grocery store here about the turn of the century. And in 1932, he passed away, and my Uncle Frank, my daddy, Anthony, and my mother, Hilda, he took it over and they made it a restaurant. And it kind of just grew in from there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Now, during World War II, my mother ran the place for four years while Daddy and Uncle Frank went off to war. So when they came back, uh, we still were a neighborhood restaurant, as we are now. We're just a neighborhood joint. And then we had this storm called Katrina. And that's why I was showing Just a you. small storm. Small, very, very small storm. It's just a little hiccup in the road there. <laughs> we had a storm called Katrina. My daddy died in the 70s. Mama died in the 70s. Uncle died in the 80s. And that's when, in the, in the early, late 90s, my daughter, Cindy, came over with me, and she runs the place with me now. Some people say she's the boss. I'm not going to tell her. You said Yeah. <laughs> you just told her. I did. No, she is the boss. Anyway, so... 2005 we had Katrina, we all know about that. We had water up to this roof line right here, about 10 feet of water in this area. It stayed in the area for about 10 days. I think that's just hard for a lot of people it really is. to believe. It's I mean, it's just amazing to think that there was water, it, a constant it, level of water that far above our heads right now. Right up to the ceiling right here, up to this shed. And it was here for about 10 days. Uh, when we came back, to this area. My house was on Bayou St. John, right around the corner. Came back to the area. Uh, the building was totally erect. Uh, it was kind of funny, you know. You walk in and the tables with the salt shakers were like this, but they were all still in place. Yeah, it was just, it was just kind of an eerie feeling. So it took us 18 months to kind of clean the place up, put it back together, and we Put it back together and it took us 18 months to do that. We changed it a little bit because we just had to. And it's been wonderful since then. Well, I know, and this, and this, and this area has recovered tremendously. And I know a lot of people, and I know myself, have been down here several times since Katrina. And, and it is, but tell me, let's talk about this cuisine that you guys have in here. Every time I've been down here, it's been packed. Tell, tell everybody out there what they can get here. Well, it's just basically local neighborhood restaurant stuff. A lot of good fried seafood, all fresh. We have daily specials, like we have veal parmesan, meatballs, spaghetti, trout almondine. We make a great turtle soup. Some of the people in the city say Brennan's is better. 
I say no. Some people say commanders is better. I think ox turtle soup is better. We make a lot of soups. We serve a lot of poor boys. And we have daily specials every day. Friday seafood. It was a Catholic town. So we had to eat seafood because they punished us. The priest wouldn't let us eat meat. Right. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, we, and we change every day. And, uh, you know, we're open seven days a week. We do, a daily we do daily specials every day. And the people in New Orleans have really, really supported us, especially after the storm. They've all been wonderful. And we have a lot of folks that have come in from Mississippi, Alabama, and supported our, local, supported our city. And we really needed it after the storm. And I can say the neighboring states have all been wonderful, and the folks in New Orleans have all been wonderful. So we have a lot of neighborhood restaurants in this city. When, when I was a child, you had a bar room, restaurant in every corner, you had a little small grocery store, and you had a drug store. And that was New Orleans. You got on the streetcar, and you went downtown. And that was New Orleans. Well, do you, Tommy, do you feel like it's kind of been like a rebirth since since Katrina? Because you know, almost symbolic, the water kind of coming in and moving out. You kind of this, kind of a cleansing. They had an article in Newsweek, and I want to grab the guy that wrote the article because what he knows is nothing. He said this was a dying city. Actually, this is a city of rebirth. This city's fresh coming. off a Super Bowl win. Too. I mean, I'm telling you, what can I say? This is a city that's coming back. Katrina couldn't kill us. Those idiots at BP. He tried to kill they us, tried. and they, they tried, they to, tried kill to kill everybody. The whole Gulf Coast, and they didn't succeed. And I think you'll find in the next five years, from this year forward, the next five to ten years, you will see this city just blossom into something wonderful. I really believe that. I think it's our time. Well, Tommy, I'll tell you what. Been a pleasure. We've enjoyed it. We're ready to go inside and, and taste a little bit of this. I have one question. Okay. Y'all catch any fish today? Uh, I didn't catch any personally, but our outdoor specialist, Greg Vinson, fishing the Bassmaster Classic, he had a great day. He's in 12th okay. place. Bring them over, we'll cook them. Uh, <laughs> sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Tommy. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you all for coming.